Hi, I'm Julia Voss again, and I'll be talking about the study itself and a preliminary report of our findings. So our research participants were 26 students from four sections of first year writing during the 2018-2019 academic year. We interviewed 16 of those 26 students, although all of the uh, 26 were invited for interviews. A little bit about our methods. So our Analysis of that interview data and then the research essays that students wrote were according to two sets of categories. One were the trust indicators from the trust project, which are basically critical questions about sources to help be more informed and critical users of, of uh, news sources. And then the second were project specific categories, which we developed um, by coding interviews responses inductively. Uh, where we develop descriptive code to denote recurring themes that participants mentioned within and across interviews. And based on a discussion among the research team, we condensed those um, trends that we noticed into analysis categories and use them to code both the interviews and the essays. Um, the codes described how students position themselves relative to the task, which is our focus here, but also things like this, their self-assessment of their research and writing development, whether or not they use additional resources provided by instructors or librarians, and how they rated the quality of their writing and info literacy training or education prior to taking the course. Um, so every essay and interview was assigned to two research team members and we each rated the interview or essay according to each trust indicator and each project specific category. All the disagreements were reconciled via discussion and review of the data and for project specific categories, participants were quoted in a binary way, either they did or did not identify themselves according to the category. And then for trust indicators, we used more of a scale in the interview or the essay. Um, the participant used that um, source criteria, they which gave them a one, they didn't use it, which gave them a zero, or they explicitly rejected that as a valid um, parameter for source selection, which gave them a score of negative one. So to talk a little bit about the trust indicators as categories that we use to analyze our data, um, the, the, the trust project founded in 2017 is an international consortium of news organizations that build standards of transparency and work with technology platforms to affirm and amplify journalism's commitment to transparency, accuracy, inclusion, and fairness to help the public make informed news choices. This is from their own mission statement. And so they have these questions they ask about sources to help people decide whether a source is credible or not when they're reading it. So these refer to editorial best practices, they refer to the expertise of the journalist, they consider the type of work or the genre of um, journalistic writing it is. Uh, the research that the source itself does, its citations and references, the methods used to um, decide to write the article in the first place and conduct it, the degree to which it uses local sourcing and the relationship of the, well, the author and the publication to the community, and the extent to which the news organization, as well as the article itself, is committed to diverse voices and especially to resisting stereotypical representations of marginalized groups. We also, and these are project specific categories, looked at student characteristics as ways to group participants together and look at their trust indicator scores. Um, so we use students' race. This is how they identify themselves when they apply to the university as incoming first years. And we also, for the purposes of this project, focus on how the students approach the research task. So for marginalized and mainstream identification, do they describe their experience of seeing a group that they identify with being misrepresented in the media as part of what affected their selection and use of sources? And so this identification was variously related to race, gender, and affinity, not always the same reasons for each student. We also considered whether or not students saw the research task as an opportunity to defend their own culture or not. So some students describe pursuing the project as an opportunity to expose or challenge ways in which a group they identify as a member of had been misrepresented in the media. Like I mentioned, we also looked at some other demographic and affective characteristics, but are only focusing on a few of them here.